everyone. Happy Friday. Happy, happy, happy birthday to Teddy. Um, my nephew who is 12 today. So we're celebrating him. I'm so excited to see him this weekend. Um, and today we celebrate the feast day of St. Agnes, who is the patron saint of girls. Um, in a fantastic quote from her, Christ has made my soul beautiful with the jewels of grace and virtue. I belong to him whom the angels serve. Good morning! And Stacy's going to be joining us. And for some reason, we've been singing all morning. Stacy, I don't, I don't know why, but um, yeah, good morning. Good morning, everyone. And guess what? So this morning, I had a fantastic arrival from my son, Rye. He's here. I'm so excited. Um, so, just, I don't, okay, I'm, you know. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Stacy, I swear I saw you. There you are. Oh, and I'm using my new phone. Good morning. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Jill. Nice to see you and meet you. It's so nice to meet you, too. You know, like Thank that virtual, you. virtual hug, like, hello. I know. <laughs> so it's wonderful. So I was going to go ahead and um, share our intentions for this morning uh, from Jenny. We please, she's asking for prayers that she finds inspiration and time to write her dissertation um, and to hand it in on time in March. Oh, wow. Wow. And so hopefully, you know, of course, the professor approves and she, she receives her degree. So just prayers for prayers for her. That's, I, I can't even write a page. I can't imagine writing a dissertation. In awe. But, um, and then from Anne, a prayer of Thanksgiving um, for her work. She finally kind of has the direction um, and clear focus now. So she's been praying for over a year, which can be really hard. And then uh, from Cassidy for um, her daughter and her classmates as they make their first confession this Saturday. Oh, it's so beautiful. I remember taking our <laughs> to confession. So it's so beautiful to watch. And then we want to pray for um, everyone in Washington, D.C., or all those participating in the March for Life. Um, and I want to pray for all of our kids, all of our children, um, and just for everyone here and those who join us. So is there anything, Stacey, you'd like to pray for? Yes, I would love to pray um, always for my husband and my kids and, um, and my five nephews, and two of those nephews are adopted, and um, my aunt Denisa, who just passed away a couple weeks ago, I want to pray for her, the repose of her soul, and um, my father passed away seven years ago, and I'll pray for him, and, um, and I have a friend who has, a close friend of mine, she has her sons in the military, and he is stationed in Japan. So I want to pray for him and his sister. I know she dearly misses him. Um, and, and for everybody here. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, great. Where are you? I'm, I'm in New Hampshire. Okay. Yeah, wondering. I'm in New Hampshire. Like, yeah, yeah. And you're, so you're in behind. Illinois. Yeah, you're in Illinois, right? I am in uh, South Bend. Kristen is in. Illinois, but it feels like you're like we're part of Chicago. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Okay. okay <laughs> Very close. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, from whence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who Our art Father. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase in the virtues of faith, hope, and charity, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus. Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in both those in need of thy mercy. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Jesus journeys to the Garden of Gethsemane and enters into the alienation and suffering of sin. In that state, he utterly aligns his will to that of the Father, pointing the way to lasting joy and peace. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O my God, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. After Pilate sentences Jesus to crucifixion, he has him scourged at the pillar. Jesus, completely acquiescent to the will of his Father, lovingly accepts his suffering to conquer sin and redeem humanity. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. The Roman soldiers mockingly put a crown of thorns on the head of Jesus. The true king absorbs the mockery and hatred of the crowd and thereby reveals the quality of the divine forgiveness and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, 
Forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. After being scourged and crowned with thorns, Jesus is made to carry his cross. Jesus places this terrible image at the very center of the spiritual life, and we take up our own cross by being willing to suffer as Jesus did. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion. Jesus is brutally crucified. This crucifixion is the fullest expression of the divine anger at sin, but it is also the opening up of the divine heart, so that we could see that no sin of ours could finally separate us from God's love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit to thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, the eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruits of thy womb, Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy in the promises of Christ. Yes. O God, by your only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant we beseech thee that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our last prayer. Stacy, do you want to pray the last prayer? The St. Michael prayer. Sure. Sure, sure. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast in hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thanks, Susie. Thank okay. you. So I'm very excited to hear all about you and your, your story, your rosary story. <laughs> well, I'm glad to share it. I'm, glad, I'm happy to share it. Um, but before, we, before I start, um, now you're a programmer, right? You do programming? Mm -hmm. You do coding? Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah. right. Designer. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay. So we're kind of in the same world a little bit, you know, because I, I work with some programmers. Yeah. Can you hear me okay? I can, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I always, um, for me, it would be a luxury to have a graphic designer. My daughter, who she just helped me out to take one into school, but she's studying user experience in UI. Oh, oh wow. And so, Elizabeth, I'm praying with Stacy, and she's a graphic designer. <laughs> so, yeah, because yeah, we could talk about this for a while. Cause, yeah. yeah, we could. That's Kristen and I, like, we love that. Like, it's so fun. I love it. Anyways, okay. Oh, good. Well, you guys are amazing. You and Kristen and Caroline, and I just, like, it's it's awesome. You guys are inspire me. So I just want to say thank you for this channel, this page, and everything. We always um, all praise. We just always are praising God and so thankful for, the, you know, for the Holy Spirit and Mary because all of you who know us personally, know how flighty and <laughs> we're very with we have the sparkly syndrome so my son always say it's an abs it's it's totally all god all all mary <laughs> all holy spirit because poor caroline <laughs> the fact that we make it day after day for this long is such a miracle you, you call it the sparkly syndrome yeah we really have that bad <laughs> But my daughter That's says, awesome. never have enough sparkle. I'm like, yeah, you're right. 
That's awesome. I love it so much. I so can relate to that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, so much. Um, okay. So this is a, it's a cool story. I mean, so I was um, for, you know, okay. So I want to, I don't want to take too long because I know people have got to get on with their day. So just oh. cut me off. All right. Honestly, just cut me off if I'm, if I'm going too long. Um, so but I'm going to make it quick. So I was um, a new ager for 25 years, like big time new ager, like um, anything you can think of, tarot cards, astrology, numerology, kundalini, um, reiki, um, all the things. I did all those things for so long. And, you know, I was raised Catholic. I was raised oh. Catholic. And right before my confirmation, I was, I was with my sister. I have a twin sister. And I'm just like, you know what, Mom? I'm not doing this. And I, I just went off on my own, and I just, yeah, complete rebel. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I went off and did did that for like 25 years. And um, and and so that basically, um, it came to a point where I was just like, okay, this is not working, and I need God really bad. And mm -hmm. so I really just called upon Him, and um, He saved me. Really did. He really did. And um, that's, it was a supernatural thing, and um, it, it was just, it was amazing. Um, so that's that story, and I'm happy to share that if anybody wants to know about that. Um, but, um, what happened? Okay, so, well, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so I, 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 I just... Kind of like what you were describing, so I'm curious. Okay. Well, basically, I'm sitting with two other women, and we're just going through these prayers. And and before I had met with them, um, I was just like, you know what, Jesus, I'm done with this. This is not working, and I can't keep living like this. And so, two weeks later, um, this woman came into my life, and um, we did this. This is um, a book that I did. It's called Unbound by Neil Lozano. Have you ever heard of it? No. Okay. So he's Catholic, and um, he walks people through um, sort of like a way to become unbound from sin. And so anyway, so that's that book. And then um, recently I found Father Chad Rippinger's um, Deliverance Prayers. I recommend that book too. So um, and we can put the links down below. So... I met with this woman and another woman, and we just did these series of prayers, right? And there's this massive anxiety, um, stress, um, really bad thoughts, bad thinking, and and I, I was just renouncing. I was renouncing all of the things I used to do. Okay. And when I – so I, I renounced and renounced and renounced, and when I got to the end of – of it all, of all that new age renouncement that I was doing. Um, I'm not kidding you when what happened was, and, and, and I renounced all these things in the name of Jesus Christ, son of the cross. And it was like the three, the three of us were sitting in this room and all of a sudden this energy that was in the room that was anxious and nervous and scared was like, completely like taken out of the room mm -hmm. and I'm just like and the woman in front of me is like did you feel that and I was like yeah I felt that so it's what was crazy about that experience was that I felt that and I'm there for prayer right but they're the ones that also felt the just the just like it was gone all that pressure and anxiety in the room was like it was taken right out because it was renounced, and it was, mm -hmm. it you know, it, I, I just renounced all that stuff. So that's what blew me away, was like, I felt it. But then for her to say, did you feel that? I'm like, yes, I felt that. I can't even, I just could not even believe it. I just, like, and that was like instantaneous. Everything mm -hmm. was gone. Anxiety, fear, worry, all the, all my thinking, all the bad was, was gone. And, um, and so the next day, it was like I was a new person, you know, and, and people will say that, like, you know, they'll say, um, and I've heard people say, you know, he can make you new. Well, he can, and yeah. and he does, and it's real. And, you know, when I was 
heavily into the stuff. I was one of those people that was the eye roller. Mm, okay, you know, like <laughs> she was, she was saved by Jesus, and you know, like I was that person that used to think like, okay, mm, you know, I, you know, kind of mocking people, you know. So for that to happen, it was just so humbling, and um, it was amazing. So, anyways, yeah, okay, so. That was an amazing experience. I'll never forget it. And so the next days, the days following that, after that happened, I was a completely new person, exactly what you read about. And it was like I had more love for my husband and my children. I just wanted to just pour out my love for them. It just, it was just an amazing experience. So, okay, so now I'm a Christian, full blown. And, um, and so a few years go by, and here's the rosary story. So a few years go by. This is exciting. <laughs> so I am. Um, so a few years go by, and um, so I'm back into Christianity, full blown. Got rid of all my books and you know, pendulum and all my stuff. And um, we're going down to the street to a church called Manchester Christian Church. It's a non-denominational church, and it was great, and it was good, and the kids were so good, and um, and they still are, and. Um, and so, but there was something missing. And so I, I just was like, I don't know, maybe God wants us back into, wants me back into the Catholic Church. And so, um, so just a little backstory. My husband was born and raised Catholic too, but he had been out of the Catholic Church. Like he was still Catholic, but he wasn't going to Mass. He wasn't doing anything. It was just for years. We both were just not in the church. Right. And, and so, um, so one day I just was, it was in the morning right before work, and I work at home, and um, I just sat down, and I just prayed for a good, I don't know, good half hour, just contemplating, like asking God, please tell me and be very clear, where do you want me? Because I wanted to do what he wanted me to do. Right. Where do you want me to be? So just praying, praying, praying. Um, do you want me back in the Catholic Church, or is this non-denominational church good down the road? What, where, what do you want me to do? So... Um, so then my husband left, right? Now my husband is, he's a faithful guy, but again, just not in the, we're not, we're not the church goers to, to the Catholic church. And, but once a year, once a year, he would go to the monastery down the road where they have a chapel and he would go and just pray. Okay. And so, so that, so I prayed and, um, and it was in the morning, I was just about to start work. And about 45 minutes later, my husband comes back home. And he's like, he's like, um, I, and I was surprised. I'm like, why, why are you back home? Like, what's, what, you know, what's the matter? Did right, you forget right. So I went to the door, I opened up the door. And I'm like, oh, you're back. why are you home? He goes, oh, um, I decided to stop at the chapel. And the nuns were giving these out today. And he opened up his hand. And it was a rosary. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And so I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, so now, 365 days a year, he goes to the chapel maybe once a year. Wow. Once a year. And that was the morning that he decided to go. And why did he turn around and come back home? Because he forgot something, whatever. But we know that that was God, right? We know that was Mary, God. So he opens his hand. He's like, and I was just like, oh, my gosh. He's like, what's the matter? I'm like, I was just praying to find out if God wants to the Catholic Church or not, you know? And, and you brought me this rosary. He goes, well, that's your answer. That's your answer. I'm like, yeah, I would say that was my answer. <laughs> so it's just, that was just like total, just my eyes were watering. I'm like, oh, my gosh, I just cannot believe of all the days that you went to the chapel and they were giving out free rosaries, you know. The, so it just overcame me. And, and ever since then, you know, we just – I followed the faith, and two, um, two years later, my kids got co their confirmation, and um, so, yeah, and now, to finish the story, so I walked away, like, two weeks before my confirmation, right, when I was 16, 17, or whatever, and, um, and finally, I'm making my confirmation this spring, <laughs> finally, I haven't made it yet, I bet, you know, I mean, yeah, so, just. But because of COVID, you know, oh. things down and, you know, so finally I'm making my conversation. It's just so funny. But, um, but yeah, I mean, we're praying for you. 
Oh, thank you. Will you let us know? <laughs> so. <laughs> did you um? Did you start praying the rosary? Were you? Oh yeah. Did you know what yeah. it was? I knew. Okay, that's the thing. I knew what the rosary was, but I didn't. I knew what it was, and I knew the prayer. I only knew the Hail Marys and the Our Fathers, right? Uh, I never prayed it, you know. I, you know, I didn't. I didn't pray the rosary. Um, I had always a like a love for Mary, and um, you know, when I was younger, growing up, and if, if I ever was scared at night, I was spooked out, or I always would say, I, need, I don't even know why. I well, now I know why, but I didn't know why. I would always just be like, Hail Mary, full of grace, with the blankets, you know, Hail Mary, full of grace, the <laughs> And I don't know why, but something convicted me to just pray the rosary whenever I was, like, scared or so. Pray the Hail Mary whenever I was scared. But so um, so that was pretty, yeah, yeah. Wow. That is, like, that's it's, so, it's, it's, it's. Yeah, and when he, when the, so our house is, I'm not on the way to work from the monastery, from the, from the chapel, you know. So when he came back, I was just. I just couldn't believe that he opened up his hand and had a rosary right after, 45 minutes after that prayer. It was just, like, amazing to me. That is just, yeah. It's, um, it's, it's amazing. It's so amazing. I love, I love it. I love, it's just, it's just, yeah, so fantastic to hear. <laughs> I think I was... um, it's just, it's so beautiful hearing and um, witnessing everyone's journey. Because, like, you know, I always go back to, how every person is a love story of God, you know, like we are all a love story. And, um, and this, this, you here hearing that it's just like, yes, yes. It's just such a beautiful affirmation. When you remove all the junk and all the everything, all the layers of, of suffering and sin, and I don't know, you just see that beautiful, beautiful, marvelous, like, person and um yeah so just hearing this like ah, did um okay I did have a quick question I didn't want to interrupt you and, and Jane also what what prompted you was it just like kind of everything was just kind of falling apart and you just you were feeling alone or like to kind yeah. of ask these women to pray with you you know like I was wondering was so yeah what prompted me I think was just um I had you know, through this journey with the New Age stuff, I've always been on this journey of finding peace and 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 just because I think I've always been a little anxious, you know. So mm -hmm. just searching for peace, the meaning of life, and all the all the things, right? And so, what prompted me to ask, just basically sat down at my desk and I'm like, Jesus, I'm done with this. You need to help me. And what prompted me is because I was so anxious and worried and I really didn't have very good my thoughts were not good and um and I knew that the state of being that I was in was not good for my kids and it was sort of like this whole all my new age practices that I was doing was getting me deeper and deeper into like a depression and, and anxiety and fears and worries and not being enough and not being all the things all you know like not being a good enough mom and all those things it just weighed so heavy on me it was sort of like i was taking myself further and further away from god and i was getting more and more depressed and more and more anxious mm -hmm. and just in feeling so inadequate and 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 all my new age practices just weren't working it just wasn't working right and and so one day i just got up and i was done i was like i'm so fed up with this jesus mm -hmm. please come and help me Right. And that was the two weeks after is when I found this woman and she was doing, um, she was also a reformed new ager who oh. had just turned to the Catholic faith. And she was doing a class to learn about angels that were biblical angels and the whole history and understanding of them. And I love that stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sign up for her class. Well, it just so happened that she helped people with this book with the unbound book okay she she's the one that's like you know I, I told her what I was looking for she's like you need to do unbound and so you with unbound you go through the list of all the things in the, that you've done that you want to renounce mm -hmm. and so that's how that hope and that's how that 
of how it all happened. But that was what the prompting was, is this is just a state of being that was not peaceful, you know, and not good. Yes. At all. No, I, I totally understand. I think we all have that, like, you know, when you start to I don't know, you, your focus isn't on God. I, I feel like when we kind of drift or we kind of, you know, the further we get away from the light, I feel like that, that darkness that like, you know, it, it increased, I don't know, I, I can totally relate. But I, anytime I feel that I'm always like, okay, pray, like, uh, you know, yeah. just immediately, yeah. um, once you've, you know, been in that state of anxiety and just darkness and despair. And then when you have the peace like the peace, you never ever want to go back. <laughs> oh yeah, so much more able to recognize it. Um, yeah, and I think, yeah, it's just so beautiful. What was your kids' response? And was your husband like? Was he? That's a, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I know, I know, I got a lot of eye rolls. A lot of people like, oh okay, these these is like been saved by Jesus again. I have to say that because that was there, was there, you know, because I always had looked upon myself as a new ager, as a sort of worldly, I have open mind, I have a very open mind and I, mm -hmm. I, I, I am, you know, like the all knowing, you know, oh. <laughs> you know, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, when you're in new, that's, and, and when, when you become a full blown Christian, um, my, that's what I was kind of worried about was like, you know, people, not that I have to worry, but you know, people will look upon you as, oh, now she's very narrow-minded. Mm. Now she, oh, she's a Catholic. Oh, she's even more narrow-minded. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know, like, that's, that's, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it was hard. It was hard. You know, I, I think for the kids, they were younger, and so they were in their, they were early teens, so, but they were very accepting. Okay. But, honestly, they didn't really know the extent that I was involved in the New Age because it was my thing. You know, I went out of the house and I did stuff, and they didn't really know exactly how deeply I was involved. They didn't really know mm -hmm. because I didn't, I protected them from that some way, how somehow I just sort of kept them away from all that stuff. Right. They didn't really know. And so they were young enough where they're like, okay. And they had friends going to Manchester Christian Church. So it was kind of an easy transition for us. Mm. And so that was a grace from God. Um, you know, and I think, becoming, you know, a little bit more deeply into the Catholic faith has it's been a little bit hard for, for them. I think they're like, oh gosh, mom and her religion, you know, Ugh, you know, <laughs> but, but my husband is so good. And we all go to, you know, we go to church, um, you know, most of us <laughs> go to church every Sunday. And so, but my husband's very, very, very supportive of me and uh, this journey. And I am just so blessed. Oh, it's so, so blessed. I love yeah. it. I love it. Oh, Thank you so I'm much so for, to, for sharing. Do you have you a favorite scene or confirmation name or any me. anything we can pray for? Oh, oh did sorry, I'm sorry. Did you hear my question? You were, did your twin stay no. Catholic? Oh no. Oh yeah, she got her confirmation. Okay. <laughs> she did. Well, they, I was the rebel. You were the rebel. I understand. <laughs> yeah, oh. I'm always kind of, it gets me in trouble. Um, oh yeah, what was your mom's reaction? Like when you, did she, was she like? Oh, when I decided not to get my confirmation? She, she kind of, she didn't, I don't remember. Like, I think she sort of let me kind of go on my own path, you know? Oh. Um, I, I, re couple of years ago, she had told me like that. She told my dad, um, Stacy doesn't want to make her confirmation. And my father was like, well, what are you going to do? You know, blah, blah, blah. So that was pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, and we went to all Catholic schools. We went to all Catholic schools for a parochial schools. So I know. Yeah. Uh, so beautiful. We're just so thankful you were here and praying with us. I love it. Um, How'd you find oh, well, thank you. Sorry. How did you find many Hail Marys? I, I, I don't know. I, on Instagram, I think I just started following some Catholic people, and you guys came up on the, you know, recommendation or, you know, and I, I don't know. And it's been since 2019. Oh, wow. Because I, th 
that's what I thought. I was like, I know Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> <That's so> funny. <laughs> <laughs> we do know each other. We just don't yeah. know each other, but we know right. each other. <laughs> right. But I'm like, oh wow, that's amazing. And now you're here and sharing and inspiring. That's well, so you guys are you guys are such a gift to me and I love praying with you in the morning and it's yeah. so awesome. You it's humbling and you're great. You're, you're so, and you're so much fun, Jill. You really are. <laughs> I get myself into it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. We just praise God. Thank you. So thank you so much for praying with us this morning. And, um, oh, yeah, your art. Do you want to talk about, like, you have beautiful art. Oh, thank you. Those are my wings, my angel wings. I love them. Thank you. Yeah, I just started painting. I got into... Um, well, when the kids, you know, the kids get to a certain age where they don't really want to hang out with you anymore, right? <laughs> so you get more, you have more time. So I just was like, I need to, I need to get on. I need to start painting because I went to school for a bachelor of fine. I got a bachelor of fine arts in graphic design. So I've always loved art. Um, and so I just followed some artists on Instagram and I was just so inspired. Really, that's how it happened. And then finally, I started painting in 2018. And, um, but yeah, it was like, but my favorite thing to paint are those angels there, angel wings. Yes. And um, I got a little, uh, that's like a landscape. And I, I do abstract stuff. This I is love something it. I did in college. <laughs> I still have that. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah. It's all acrylics on canvas. And I, I have so much fun. And I think I want to start doing some. I don't know. I, I, I used to do realistic drawings. I want to start getting into doing some more uh, realism. I don't know. We'll see what happens, what 2022 brings. Yeah. yeah, it'll be fun to see. So, <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for praying with us. And Thank you, Jill. It was so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. Bye, everybody. Happy Friday. <laughs>